now we'll see how to print uh, pyramid that is full pyramid in number format as well as in star format so the script javascript should be written between script tag so you have to close script tag and uh, after script tag you have to write type is equal to text oblique javascript because now this is standard format you can insert javascript into html in body section of html or in head section or as an external file so i declared the variable i j k m uh, whatever okay prompt i had accepted the number how many till how much row first i'll show you output then you'll understand suppose i say i want up to five rows so five rows i'll get suppose i say i want up to seven rows so i'll get answer up to so this is called pyramid this is called full pyramid of numbers even i can print uh, of stars so here how to print that you have to use here double quotes instead of this use star and how many rows star you want suppose i say four so i'll get four line so i'll explain you now how this get executed prompt is a function which is used to accept a string that is any number you can accept you can accept number character anything assigned to n now n value is assigned even to m because we are making duplicate value now for loop is used uh, here three for loops are used this loop is ended here means in between we have two for loops one is for space now i'll show you uh, how this get executed suppose j i value is one this loop will execute if i say n value as uh, three let's take four n value is 4 so i it will check whether it is less than 4 yes then it will come below because increment will take afterwards yes means i is 1 and n is 4 suppose n we had to guess 4 m is also 4 so it will check 1 is less than 4 yes then it will come below now these curly bracket are closed here means this loop will get executed k loop will get executed again and again till this condition is true once this become false then it will come out of the loop because this is inner loop so here uh, this uh, k is 1 k is less than m m is value of n n is 4 so m is also 4 so we want uh, this loop should get executed how many times 4 times now uh, k value is 1 and m value is 4 so uh, 1 is less than equal to 4 yes then uh, document dot write it will print nbsp now this is called html uh, character entity which is used for spaces when you want a spaces because if you write just here double quotes and leave it uh, the javascript will ignore that spaces so you have to use this uh, entity character for non breaking spaces uh, so i want to print the space so this is called html character entity which uh, starts with ampersand sign you can even use for nbsp some code is there i think so ampersand 609 even you can use instead of this so this is for spaces so that many space it will take like uh, this way suppose so this way like uh, here one space two space three space four space so so many space it will take and it will then cursor will come here that way it is so it will uh, uh, take first space then k will increment 2 is less than 4 yes second space then uh, again it will go k will become 3 3 is less than 4 yes then it will take third space means on first line only it will it is moving now to third space k will become 4 4 is less than equal to 4 yes at fourth space it will stop because when k will become 5 5 is less than 4 no then it will come out of this loop now again because this is having curly bracket opening closing so this loop will executed again and again till this condition becomes false now j is uh, inner loop so again it will initialize to 1 because initial value is 1 uh, j is 1 j is less than i because i initial value is 1 only this is holding now 1 so 1 is less than 1 yes J, uh, then it will come here now again one nbsp is used that i want more space after fourth space fifth space then it will print this at a sixth space uh, this uh, 
star instead of star suppose we say i want to print value of i so i will not use double quotes that time so you can print number as well as characters uh, also so what is value of i one so it will print one at which space sixth space because here fourth space fifth space and this is at sixth space now it will uh, go here j will increment it will become 2 2 is less than equal uh, less than equal to 1 no then it will come out of this loop now pr means new line means 1 is printed m will become m minus minus means decrement value of m by uh, 1 that is previous uh, that is m value was 4 then it will become 3 means we want to come now ahead like this way suppose again i will show you 4 so here when this is moved so i want here 3 spaces plus including extra whatever you want so here so m is minus minus so uh, this is because outer loop now i will become 2 it will check 2 is less than equal to 4 yes inner loop now it will again initialize to 1 upper loop will not initialize again to 1 it will increment and it will execute only the inner loop because closing bracket it will execute till this condition is uh, become false so here now k is again one k is less than equal to 3 because now m is 3 we want to come ahead now of 1 means we have to move towards uh, left side so yes uh, that is 1 is less than 3 uh, then it will take how many spaces 3 spaces 1 by 1 like this way Now here, this is first space, second space, third space. So it will go on moving ahead. How many times? Uh, three times because k is, k is one. One is less than three. It will take first space. Then k will increment. Uh, two is less than m. Uh, that is two is less than three. Yes, it will move to next space. Then it will occupy that space, second space. Then k will increment. Three k value is now three. M value is three only. 3 is less than equal to 3 yes then it will print third space when k will become 4 4 is less than uh, no sorry uh, 4 is less than 3 because k value is 4 now m value is 3 no then it will come out again this is inner loop it is having its own curly bracket opening closing again j will become 1 i value is not 2 because it was holding 2 so this loop will execute it because we want to print now in second line two times so this loop will execute how many times two times so j is one uh, j is less than equal to i yes because one is less than two so it will print uh, for space means it will come ahead and uh, it will print one space now this previous one one was printed at sixth position so now one more space this is at how which space three space plus four space okay here this side plus i i means what is value of i 2 so it will print 2 again it will go j will increment 2 is less than equal to 2 yes it will print one space then it will print one more 2 means gap between the 2 and 2 see i will show you again so this is a gap between these two that is this one a gap between this so that is so why uh, NBSP is used here that it's, it should have space between each uh, that is characters or numbers then it j will become 3 3 is less than uh, equal to 2 no then it will come below means here 2 times 2 is printed uh, then it will break it will come to no line m will become now m was previously 3 it will become 2 again it will come here uh, now here i was 2 now it became 3 i value is incremented by 1 so 3 is less than equal to 4 yes j k is inner loop so again it will initialize to 1 so m value is now 2 1 is less than equal to 2 yes it will print 1 space then k will increment 2 is less than uh, 3 uh, sorry 2 is less than equal to 2 yes it will print 1 one more space then uh, k will become 3 uh, sorry uh, uh, it was previously sorry 1 2 and next suppose 3 so here uh, 3 is less than 2 no then it will come below j is again 1 uh, 1 is less than equal to 3 yes 
then it will take one space it will print value of i is 3 now it will print 3 j will increment it will become 2 2 is less than equal to 3 because i is 3 only uh, and this will increment only j so 2 is less than equal to 3 yes it will print one space it will add 3 means second th 3 is added so on third line 3 times 3 we want so this is third uh, 3 uh, sorry second 3 on a third line and again uh, j will become 3 3 is less than equal to 3 yes it will print one space and 3 so i is having 3 only value so it will print 3 times including one space uh, with it then j will become 4 4 is less than equal to 3 no then it will come below uh, it will come to new line m will become now 1 because m previous value is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so here i will become 4 now 4 is less than equal to 4 yes uh, okay inner loop again it will start with one uh, four is uh, sorry one is less than m that is what is value of m m is uh, one one is less than equal to one yes then it will print one space uh, and then k will become to two is less than equal to one no false then it will come here now j is again one because this is inner loop uh, then one is less than equal to uh, four yes then it will print one space and it will print four means on fourth line four it will print with space j will become two two is less than equal to four yes then one space second fourth on fourth line then j will become three three is less than equal to four yes it will print one space and it will print four uh, then uh, means four uh, uh, that is on fourth line third fourth then j will become four four is less than equal to i yes then it will print fourth four on fourth line then j will become five five is less than four uh, no then it will come below br next line this will become zero because one minus one is zero now i will become five five is less than four no then if this is false then directly it will come out of its because the curly bracket of this four is uh, closing four is here so it will come out of this loop and program will stop so we'll see one more uh, we'll see one more output for uh, for suppose five lines so this is five line suppose i want program for nine till how many rows i want nine so instead of this star also you can print so instead of this if uh, then star you should use star sign star So we'll run how many lines suppose i want seven line star so sub if you are new subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you